So Philippians chapter 4, 1 Corinthians 16, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, and now in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, we're also going to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, and we're going to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. You're going to see how often this subject is being brought up of the men of God, people of God being supported by, you know, carnally or physically supported financially by the saints, by people of other churches. Okay, by, by, by this, is, this is something that, that happens and needs to happen for more work to be done. Verse number 1, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, the Bible reads, Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, how that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. So even their, you know, their deep poverty it abounded under the riches of the liberality. So, he, I mean, he, he keeps bringing up the churches of Macedonia because, it, you know, for the work that they've done. And they're, they're actually a very good example set forward of their liberality and the blessings that they receive. It says in verse 3, For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves, praying us with much entreaty that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of, of the ministering to the saints. So this is, you know, this is how they're viewing their giving. It's fellowship. Right? We're communing with you in fellowship to ministering to helping the saints, other brothers and sisters in Christ who are doing work. Verse number five, and this they did not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. So is it God's will for them to get involved and, 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 jo and join themselves in this fellowship and giving and helping? Yes, it was. They gave of their own selves to the work that was going forward and, and cared enough about it to make sure that the needs, and, and, you know, the needs are met of those doing the work. Verse number six, In so much that we desired Titus that as he had begun, so he would also finish in you the same grace also. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith and utterance and knowledge and in all diligence and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. So he's instructing them, using Macedonia as an example, saying abound just like they do, right? Now we're instructing you to be like them in this regard, in this giving, in this liberality, in this fellowship, in this ministry. Verse 8, I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others and to prove the sincerity of your love. You know, the, the giving is showing their, you know, that they really do care. That they really are sincere about what they say they love because they're putting, some, you know, they're putting their money where their mouth is, essentially. Verse 9, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, Yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Again, this is the concept, this is the mindset to remember that Jesus Christ had all the riches and glory in all of creation in heaven. But what did he do for you? He came out of that glory, he came out of heaven and came to this earth humbly as, you know, as basically a poor, you know, into a poor family, which can be proven in Scripture that, that they didn't have a lot of money when he was born. The offering that was given was, was two uh, young pigeons or turtle doves, which, which you know, for giving a sacrifice for a child, it, it, they, did, they weren't able to give the lamb. They had to give the, the two birds, demonstrating that they didn't have a lot of wealth. He came into a, a humble family. He humbled himself by giving up all that for your sakes, for love. For you was willing to give up all of that for you that we ought to have that same mindset that we're not focused on the riches of this world that we may even become poor in this world to help others out and to give that ministry unto others that other people might be rich because we're focused on them we're not focused on ourselves just gaining wealth we're focused on helping others 